Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. CBTU presents a course on Amazon Web Services. Section AWS Pricing Monthly Calculator, TCO Calculator. Amazon offers a free trial which enables you to gain free hands-on experience with the AWS platform products and services. The free tier offers are available to new AWS customers for 12 months period. When your 12 month free usage term expires or if your application exceeds the free usage, you simply pay standard pay as you go service rates. The free offers are Amazon EC2. You get 752 hours per month of Linux and Windows with T2.micro instance usage. You get up to 5 GB of standard storage in Amazon S3, which is secure, durable, and scalable object storage infrastructure. And these are the get and these are the put requests. You can use the resources for testing purpose and gain hands-on experience. AWS offers pay-as-you-go approach for pricing for over 120 cloud services. With AWS, you pay only for the individual services you need for as long as you use them and without requiring long-term contracts or complex licensing. AWS pricing is similar to how you pay for the utilities like water and electricity. You only pay for the services you consume and once you stop using them, there are no additional costs or termination fees. PSEGO allows you to adapt to dynamic business needs with no capex, capital expenditure, and low opex, operating expenditure. You buy the services on need only and not on demand estimates or forecasts. You can save more by investing in reserved capacity in services like Amazon EC2 and Amazon RDS. Savings are possible up to 75% over equivalent on-demand capacity. With the buy reserved instances, the larger the upfront payment, the greater the discount you get. Amazon Web Services Pricing Here is the service pricing for each of the products. We are going to check with monthly calculator which can give the estimates of all the AWS products and services which we are going to use for our application. Let us see the Amazon EC2 pricing. Initially, you can sign up for the Amazon free tier and it's free to try. And for the production loads, you have four ways to pay for the Amazon EC2 instances. On demand, reserved instances, spot instances. In addition to these, you can have dedicated hosts for your application, which provide you with EC2 instance capacity on physical servers dedicated for your use. You can estimate your monthly bill using AWS Simple Monthly Calculator. The calculator offers estimations for various mix of AWS services to meet any requirement. Let us see Simple Monthly Calculator. Whether you are running a single instance or dozens of individual services, you can estimate your monthly bill using AWS Simple Monthly Calculator. The calculator allows you to estimate individual or multiple prices and use templates to apprise complete solutions. Under the free tier, new customers get free usage tier for first 12 months. The costing varies from the region to region. Let's keep default US East North Virginia. Let us add an Amazon EC2 instance that is virtual server. You can give description to the instance, let us say server 1, a number of instances 1 and the usage, let us keep default 100%, utilized per month and the type, let us keep the default one Linux on t1.micro. The type is the tenancy operating system, EBS optimized, instance type of the set of instances. There are general purpose, memory optimized, compute optimized, accelerated computing and storage optimized computing. You can have the number of CPUs and the memory based on your needs. 
this is memory intensive and in this m4.16 x large you have 64 virtual cpus and 250 gb of ram you can select the operating system it can be windows or windows sql server or linux operating system the input output is very low for the t1.micro this comes under the free tier and on demand hourly cost is 0.02 dollars and let us keep the linux operating system and the default instance type Billing option, by default it's on demand and no contract. If you make commitment, if you choose any other contract with upfront payment, you get a discount in the pricing. And if you want to add another server, you can add server 2. Monthly cost for the server is $14, $14.64. Uh, As you add the AWS products, the monthly bill estimate is calculated here. This is Amazon EC2. This is $4,000 and we got a free tier discount of $15. Let us see why this cost is so high. We can manipulate. So let us delete this. Let us delete this. And the monthly bill is back to $14. With one server with the default instance type, this is the estimate of monthly bill. And you got AWS support basic, which is free added here. You can sign up for the business support as well. This t micro instance is covered under the free tier. And we got a discount, free tier discount. Total monthly bill is zero. You can export this estimate to CSV and you can download the report. Amazon provides some sample templates which you can use. Let us take this free website on AWS. For deploying this solution is $0. And let us click on the details. So monthly bill is 0 here. Let us see what are the production services with this template or with this solution this template added amazon ec2 instances amazon s3 service rda service dynamodb and aws support basic and all these total is 68 dollars and we got a complete discount we got a free trade discount Free trade discount covered all the above AWS production services. The net monthly payment is zero. This is good to start and practice and gain hands-on experience. Let us click on each of these to see the details. Here for hosting a free website, it selected one free Linux server that is t1.micro instance. Monthly cost is 14.64 uh, and one Windows server and EBS volumes for Linux, uh, 5 GB for the root Linux volume and 10 GB for data Linux volume and uh, this is for the Windows root and data. Input output operations. IOPS is 100, the default value, baseline throughput is the default, and snap storage. Let us leave the default values here. And it has not added any other combination, elastic IP or the data transfer. We use the default values. If you change the region to any other region, the cost might change. The template is based on US East, North Virginia. If you change the region to any other, you need to manually configure these production services that you may need for your web application to run. You have other templates here. You can take a fair idea from these to create your own set of requirements. We selected marketing website and estimate. Let us see what's the estimate. The recommendation for the marketing website is Amazon S3 service 
Amazon EC2, there's no instances. Amazon S3 service, this is the storage. It is recommended CloudFront service for content delivery. You can check and modify these production services as per your need. And the AWS support, the default basic is free and you can sign up for the business or the developer or the enterprise. The free tier discount for new user for first 12 months is applied. So the net payment is 300 plus dollars. So like this, you can make your own monthly estimate with this by using simple monthly calculator. And you can export and download this report. So let us open this report. So this is the report. AWS provides TC work calculator also, total cost of ownership. Compare savings from using AWS and against on-premises and collocation environments with TC work calculator for most cost-effective AWS offering. This tool takes into consideration all the costs to run a solution, including physical facilities, power and cooling, providing a realistic end-to-end -end comparison of your costs. Let us go to the pricing tab and click on this TCO calculator. AWS TCO calculator helps in reducing the need to invest in large capital expenditures. AWS TCO calculator provides the cost savings when using AWS and provides a detailed set of reports. Let us launch the TCO calculator. The TCO calculator comes with basic and advanced options. With advanced, you can configure more options. Let us take basic. You select the currency. Let us keep the US dollar and the type of environment we are comparing against. It can be on-premises or collocation. Let us keep the default on-premises and the AWS region and the geo requirements. You can select the any region you want to compare. Let us keep the default US East Northwest area. Choose the workflow type. It can be general or share point. Let us keep the default general. Next, are we comparing with the physical servers or virtual machines? Let us compare with virtual machines. Let us import some parameters to calculate the TCO. The server type, let us select non-database or database. Let us keep non-database. Application name, give friendly name. And number of virtual machines, let us say two. Number of CPU cores per virtual machine, let us say four. And the memory requirement, let us say 64 GB. And the hypervisor, let us keep VMware. And the guest OS, Linux. And storage type, you want to use SAN, NAS, or object, let us keep SAN. RAS storage capacity, let us say 100 TB. And now calculate the TCO. This is the summary of on-premises versus AWS cloud. The report says we can save up to 72% a year by moving infrastructure to AWS. And a three year total savings could be 300,000 plus dollars. This is the cost breakdown for three years. Server, storage, network, IT lab. We can take a realistic scenario and it provides the best possible comparison. This is excellent graphical representation. And you can explore this report. This is the methodology how costs are calculated. 
TCYA is acquisition cost plus operation cost. AWS makes some assumptions while calculating these costs. You can verify if these assumptions are applicable or you can tweak the report. Some general FAQ is provided here. This is an excellent tool for the end user, which helps in quick understanding of the infrastructure and the migration benefits and planning for the quick migration to cloud. So this is the report, you download the report, you provide the basic information and it will be delivered to you. There are many ways to pay for Amazon EC2 instances. Per second billing, on demand, spot instances, reserved instances and dedicated hosts. With per second billing, you pay for only what you use. On demand instances let you pay for the compute capacity by the hour with no long-term commitments. Amazon EC2 spot instances allow you to request spare Amazon EC2 computing capacity for up to 90% of the on-demand pricing. Reserved instances provide with significant discount that is up to 75% compared to on-demand instance pricing. Dedicated hosts allow you to use your existing software licenses including Windows, Linux, and also help meet complaints requirements. Dedicated hosts can be purchased on demand. It is hourly. Reservations can provide up to 70% discount compared to on-demand pricing. The main feature of Amazon EC2 dedicated hosts is you can save money on licensing costs. With AWS, you can get volume-based discounts and realize important savings as your usage increases. Pricing is not pro rata but discounted when you use more. Pricing is tied for services such as Amazon S3. The more you use, the less you pay per ZB. Now get ready to migrate to Amazon Cloud. Thanks for watching.